All right, this uh, message is for TH Kahn. This is my idea on the biogas multi-purpose stove. Down here inside we have um, coils. We have a burner, a very small burner, biogas. We have coils and it goes up and the heat comes down and around. It's insulated walls, comes up and there's a little radi circular radi radiatant heat. It's just a radiator that uh, um, the heat goes through and you can have a fan blow it out and then it stops on this copper hot plate at the top. Now let's start at the beginning. I actually did draw this out step by step as best I could think of it. Uh, and I do this because of my experience in the video game industry when I realized communicating verbally does one thing and just the ru most rudimentary artwork added to it can really um, help con with the concept. So here we have just a very small gas burner and then we have a chimney and then this chimney goes up and it is insulated that's what the yellow represents here and as it goes up um, it will then be forced back down which see there's the whole chimney thing and this coil is what's going this this is a coil of copper starts at the bottom and it goes around and then once it hits the top it goes tighter and tighter and tighter until it then it goes out the top but this will be airtight and it will sit over the top of this which is what this graphic is supposed to demonstrate is the lowering of the coil here now here's one problem i have i don't under i don't have the um, knowledge in math and physics to know what the tolerance factors are to make the air ratios work right. <clears throat> anyway, so you slide the coil over the top of this insulated exhaust and you get 100% of your exhaust going up. It hits the, the top of this coil area and then it has to travel back down and get outside where it's then forced up around it and over across the top and up, which hopefully I drew over here. Well, that's just the back side of that. <clears throat> And yeah, here's the the, the big uh, expanded version. You have the, the heat going up, you have the coil coming down, and then you have the heat, you know, we have insulated wall, insulated wall, insulated wall. And then the heat comes back up, and it, let's see, the coil comes down, he comes up, down, back up. Got that, it's kind of complicated. And as it comes out here, you have a radi radiator or a heater. It's just, you know, he, this tube here, it comes up here. And then you have smaller tubes that the exhaust runs through. And, come, and then it can, goes back into a big tube. And you can then run air through that and you've got a, a radiated heat, radiant heat. And then at the top here... You have a hot plate, which hopefully represents over here. You have the coils, all this good stuff you have going up and down and up and down and up and down, and you are using that energy as many times as you possibly can. The radiant heat does not need to be there, but at the top you have a copper plate. It's like a circular plate to match the exhaust. The exhaust comes up, it hits that, and it has to go down. I don't know if we need another math expert on this. So many half inch, inch, quarter inch, three quarters inch, inch and a half, before it can then escape out into the atmosphere. And you can then create a hot plate that you could possibly cook on. Boy, I mean, maybe you could get a, a who knows what you can do with this. Anyways, that is my idea for a biogas stove and the, the point of the flame being small enough that you could run it 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And with all the insulation, you would retain and reuse your heat four or five times. And that's my concept on the biogas stove. I hope some of that made some sense. You'd want to use copper and you'd want to insulate as often as possible to retain the heat, reuse the heat, move it over the copper again and reuse it again and again and again and again. And again. How cool is that? Thank you all.